Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Instagram feed to your Wix website in 2023. By adding your Instagram feed to your Wix website, you can showcase your brand's visual content and increase engagement with your website's visitors. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So now, what we need to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, go ahead and use it. Once you do that, of course, you can simply go to your URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of Wix website. And of course, here, if you have an account, you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page. Of course, here, you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website. Of course, if you forgot your email, you can simply click here so you can get it back or remember it. Of course, make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles. As you can see, you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with Wix company. Of course, this site is protected by recapture enterprise, Google privacy and terms of use apply. So make sure to read them. And of course, you can even log in into your account with Google, Facebook, or even Apple or with your SSO. If you don't have an account, make sure to click on the sign up option. And of course, from here, you can create your account by entering your email, then retyping your email, creating a password and type in your password again, then clicking on sign up. Of course, again, you can create your account with a Google account or even Facebook account. And by signing up, you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy. It's the same as I showed you before. So for me, let me just fill this information real quick right here. Let's see an example that's going to be my email. I'm just going to retype it. Or like this, the password let's say it's going to be something like this and let's just re-enter it and here we are as i said you can or you don't have to fill all of those if you want you can simply click add continue with google if you have your google account already connected and choose the email or the gmail that you want to connect with for me i choose the same email that i choose here so now let me just save this. So next time I want to log in or something, I'll not have to fill those manually. And here I'll have to answer a quick survey. So let's set up with the right tools. First, who are you creating a website for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you for me. Let's say as an example for me or my business or friends. So I'll click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say as an example, online store. Click on next should not take a lot of time this survey and of course if you're getting bored as i said always click on skip enter your store name let's say an example it's going to be something like this click on next because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot and even they will will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here so let's say an example it's going to be blog i don't know maybe music video and click on next why not? So here, as you can see, we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see, they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. And here, of course, I would like to finish this steps to set up my store. As an example, I'll have to add a first my first products and then set up a payment method then of course set up shipping and delivery address then 
design my website, then connect to a custom domain, then get found by customers on Google. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, if you want to sh connect your Instagram feed to your Wix website, is simply go to this left panel and click on apps. That will take you to the app market of Wix. Once you're here, simply go to this option search app and type Instagram. Sorry. Instagram feed and hit the enter button. That should take you to this page directly. Once you're here, make sure to click on this Instagram feed app because that will display your Instagram feed on your site. Once you click on it, of course, as you can see, this app is available worldwide, so you can use it wherever you are on the world. And the app's languages provided or supported by it. the app is Chinese, Danish, Dutch, English, French, German, Herbu, Hindi, Italy, Japanese, Korean, and a lot of other languages, as you can see here. This app is even made by Wix, so you don't have to worry about anything. And of course, the features that comes with this is easily display pics and videos, sunny and layout styles, real-time updates, and link your posts to products in your store. Of course, if you want to read all the features, make sure to click on the read more and read all of it from here. You can scroll down if you're worried about something and check off if other people has like the same problems or something like that. Of course, you can see here or from the pictures that they are providing that's what's gonna be in your sites something like that so your instagram feeds will be in your site without any problems of course you can even control everything by their editor so as you can see here and of course if you want to add it you'll have to click on add to sites right here instead of open for me it's already installed for me so i can simply click on open once you click on open as an example after you add it as you can see, they're telling me if I want to design my website because for me, as I showed you before, I just created my account and I don't have any website right now. For you, they will just ask you to connect to your Instagram right away and you will be able to start editing your Instagram feeds on your site. Of course, then you can customize everything to match the design of your site from the font, the colors, everything. And you can even go and open another browser and check if everything is working well as a customer, as an example, in another browser. If something is not right, you can always come back here and fix everything. And that's it for this video on how to connect your Instagram feed to your Wix website and 22.3. Remember, by using your Wix Instagram feed app, you can easily add your Instagram content to your website and create a visually appealing website that engages your visitors. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. And I will see you in the next one.